world edit add-on for mcpe to get started with this add-on go to the chat and type in this command over here slash tag at a add and then world edit right over here this will start the entire add-on for you and then it's gonna say that we have everything right over here then go to the chat over here and put a semicolon and then type out kit right over here and this is gonna basically give you the entire menu for the world edit add-on over here this wooden axe is gonna be your magical wand and it's basically what you're gonna be using in order to do most of your things in world edit so start off by crouching down then go ahead and find a point of you know the first position over here then go ahead and find your second position which can be literally anywhere and you will notice that when we do that we will get this like three-dimensional box over here marked around with all these different particles now what's really cool is that you can actually change the blocks inside of the little like area that you selected by going over here tapping in a semicolon and just doing something like set stone right over here and then as you can tell it is literally going to transform transform the entire thing into stone another thing that you can do is you can actually copy whatever is inside the container that you did select so as you can tell it is copying all the blocks over here and it's going to say how many blocks you copied and then you can use this tool over here to actually paste it into another location over here and as you can tell we have the same exact house that we built over there and there's actually these different bonds over here so if you ever make a mistake in this add-on you can actually go ahead and undo what you did over here and may take a while but you can actually you know just undo whatever you did or you guys can go ahead and press on redo as well this add-on could also be used to clear up a significant amount of land so for instance if you go ahead and place like a box around this entire area right over here and you want to get rid of it and you want to fill it up with air instead you can actually go ahead and select it then go to the chat over here and put a semicolon then put slash set and then air here and it's going to clear out the entire thing for you right over here which is definitely another really useful feature another really useful thing about this add-on is that you can actually drain out a significant amount of water so go ahead put yourself in some water then go ahead and just type out a uh, semicolon drain and then the amount of blocks you want to get rid of right over here and as you can tell it is going to get rid of the water over here it's completely cleared and it is nice and empty and another thing you can do is you can actually rotate clockwise whatever you do select over here so if you ever want to like rotate anything you can absolutely do so right over here you can also make your very own tools in this add-on by going on this world edit settings icon you can actually go ahead and create a new tool over here you can go ahead and select on brush settings right over here then go ahead and press on this button that says create new tool then go ahead and select the item from the creative menu that you would like to use and for this we're going to be using a wooden shovel right over here and for the type of brush i'm going to be going ahead and putting a cylinder brush over here and i'm going to be putting the size as four and the height of it as four as well and now we can actually go ahead and pick the pattern that we want and this is basically the block that is going to be on on our tool over here so you can select whatever you want how many blocks you want and then go ahead and press on the okay right over here and then press on it one more time and then you will have a brand new tool over here and as you can tell this is so crazy a bunch of amethyst is spawning in right over here it does look absolutely sick in my opinion and another thing that you can do is you can go to the chat type in semicolon cell and then a sphere right over here and this is basically what you're going to be using in order to make your very own sphere over here and this is basically the center of your circle where you want it to be and then you can go ahead and extend it however far you want and this is going to be the radius over here so as you can tell we just selected our sphere over here and once again you can go ahead and fill it up as well with like set uh stone for example and then as you can tell it is literally going to fill up the entire sphere with stone over here and there's many other features in this world that it add on so feel free to go ahead and explore and see what's up See you later, French fries.